We as FFA members are surrounded by incredible support. A lot of that support coming from the California FFA Alumni Association, where it is their mission to support agricultural education and the FFA through gifts of time, talent, and financial resources. Please join me in welcoming to the podium, Mr. Travis Cardoza, president of the California FFA Alumni Association. Good evening, California. How's everyone doing tonight? Well, like I was introduced, my name is Travis Cardoso, and I'm currently serving as your California FFA alumni president. <clears throat> On behalf of the Alumni Association, we'd just like to welcome everyone out to the 87th annual uh, FFA State Convention here tonight. Um, we just want to tell you a little bit about what the FFA Alumni Association actually does, and hopefully you guys will want to join one day when you guys get to that age. Um, the Alumni Association holds a special place in every chapter's uh, craw there, and we sit there and we support the FFA in whatever capacity we can. At the state level, um, I currently serve and I help more chapters get signed up for the program, and it's a, it's a very valuable program to that the chapters can, can enroll in. Um, We've all been, uh, the rest of us that have in the Alumni Association, we've all been uh, in the FFA and we were born and raised and bleed blue and gold and we uh, learned some valuable skills and things that we take with us on, the, on a daily basis and things we've learned in the FFA um, that we've learned from our advisors and we like to pass on to our students, which is you guys, the members. Um, We've also made FFA friendships that last a lifetime, and, and that just goes with the networking and how impactful and how important the FFA is, not just from a cows and plows and tractor side, but from the leadership side as well. Um, and I think it fits really well in with the theme this year, with it, with it being reach out. It's your chance to reach out and do some things for your community and your chapter as well. Um, if you look around the arena tonight, you can see all the blue lights and the red flashing lights, and there's over 5,000 people, our secretary said tonight. Um, Many of those people you've, you've met tonight and many of the people you're going to meet throughout the conference and the rest of your time in the FFA, but what we hope that you learn in the FFA is those talents and those special skills that really solidify the three-ring model and actually make it a very, very unique opportunity that no other program, no other youth organization can provide in the world. Um, also, we uh, know we believe in this program and we hope that with your guys' help in the future that you, we can help us solidify the program and make it very, very strong, stronger than it already is. Um, we have a larger and, and broader networking organization here and we hope that you guys are able to take that into your guys' opportunity as you move and you graduate your senior year and you move on to the college level or the workforce. Um, E.M. Tiffany once stated, uh, it's in the ability of progressive agriculturalists to serve our own and the public interest. Agriculture we know is here to stay. And these words are possible with your help. Today, the motto can be solidified and stronger than ever. Learning to do, doing to learn, living to serve, or excuse me, sorry, learning to do, doing to learn, earning to live, and living to serve, okay? I have a little challenge for the seniors out there tonight. So if I can get the house lights up real quick, if you don't mind. If I could have the seniors stand, please. Any seniors out in the audience, go ahead and stand for me. Seniors, okay, here we go. I have, I have a challenge and I have an incentive for you guys that the Alumni Association has started. So the seniors, this is, this is the challenge to you guys, okay. Seniors, this program, the FFA, has served you guys for the last four years of your life. And we're hoping you take the challenge of actually living to serve and take us up and enroll in the FFA alumni program here at the state level or with your chapter level. So here's the incentive. The first three ag programs that register tomorrow at the trade show, will get an incentive, and the first five graduating seniors will receive a prize as well. So keep that in mind, and this, can't, this wouldn't be possible without the help of you guys in the blue and gold, and we'd like to thank you guys very much for your time. Thank you for having me, and have a great night. Thank you very much. Mr. Cardoza. On behalf of the entire California FFA Association, thank you so much for coming and speaking us, with us tonight. Um, it is because of your hard work and dedication, as well as the hard work and dedication of your other alumni association members, that we can be this organization today. Um, and we thank you so much for that. Please accept this as a token of our appreciation. Thank you very much. California FFA, one last time, thanking Mr. Cardoza, president of the California FFA Alumni Association.